Okay, time for doing some multiplying numbers written in scientific notation. Now I've got three examples I'm going to show you to work with this so you can see some of the things you're going to work with while multiplying numbers. It looked like this. You're going to have something that looks like 3 times 10 to the 6th power times 2 times 10 to the 5th power. Now the nice thing about when you're multiplying numbers written in scientific notation is notice these are all multiplying. When you have parenthesis next to parenthesis, that means multiply. I've got two multiplication signs inside the parentheses, so that means it's all multiplication. Nice thing about this is, since it's all multiplication, the commutative property says that I can rewrite this, and I can rewrite this as 3 times 2 times 10 to the 6th power times 10 the fifth power. And now since I have like things that are very similar next to one another, I'm going to group those using the associative property. And I'm going to multiply the things that are very similar. 3 times 2, well I can do that in my head. I know that that is 6. And then I'm going to copy and say it's times 10. And why am I writing this 10 right away? Because both of these up here have a base of 10, and when I have bases that are the same, when I'm multiplying numbers with exponents, that allows me to just add my exponents. So then I know I'm going to take 6 plus 5, and I get 11. So now I've done my multiplication, but now we got to check something. If a number is actually written in scientific notation, it has certain properties in it. Let's review those properties. So our two rules of scientific notation, we have one. The first number, the first number is greater than or equal to 1. Well, in this one, the number 6 is greater than or equal to 1. And it has to be less than 10. 6 is also less than 10. So we're in good shape there. The next thing is that the first number is always multiplied by a power of 10, and I have times 10 to the 11th. So that means on this problem here, I'm finished at this point. I have multiplied these, and I have an answer of 6 times 10 to the 11th power. Another type of problem you're going to run into would be this one here. We have decimals inside our parentheses, so we have 4.1 times 10 to the negative 4 times 5.2 times 10 to the 7th power. Well, 4.1 times 5.2 is not exactly something I can do in my head, is it? So I'm going to first, let's write down our rearrangement, that we're going to rearrange these numbers. And I'm going to do 4.1 times 5.2 times 10 to the negative 4 times 10 to the 7th. Now let's group the numbers that are similar using associative property. So I'm going to do 4.1 times 5.2. Again, I can't do that really in my head too easy, so we can bring up a calculator. And we'll take our calculator then and we'll type in 4.1 times 5.2 gives me an answer of 21.32. 21.32. All right, times 10. If I add my exponents now, I have negative 4 plus 7. Well, negative 4 plus 7, that is an answer of, yes, that's right, it's 3, positive 3. Now let's check our scientific notation rules. First number is always be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. Uh-oh, 21.32, 21 is too high. So that means we're going to have to change the location of that decimal point. In order to do that, I have to put that decimal point right here between the 2 and the 1. So we're going to rewrite this. We're going to say 2.132 times 10. Now I have to figure out, what's my new number up here? Is it going to be? What is it going to be? So let's see here. If I go back to where I have times 10 to the third power, that means I'm going to take the decimal and I'm going to move it to the right. 1, 2, three times. But by placing that decimal point between the two and the one, that means I got to look and see what's my new exponent. Well, if it was three and I was moving to the right, by placing it here, I now have one more space extra to move it to the right. So that means I have to add one to my exponent up here, and my exponent now becomes four. 
So I have 2.132 times 10 to the fourth power. So what I'm trying to show you is that sometimes when you do the multiplication, you're going to get an answer that looks like it's in scientific notation, but it's not, and you have to change it to meet scientific notation rules. Sometimes on this one, you got a positive exponent. You put the decimal between two and one, means if I have to, then it will add one more space to the right. So three plus one gave us an exponent of four. All right, let's take another one here. Since we moved it to the right, we'll have an example here. We're actually going to be doing it, and we'll see if we have to move it to the left. That's, that's the goal with this problem. So I have 5.6 times 10 to the negative two, times 4.15 times 10 to the negative three. Well, let's rearrange it again. So I'm going to put 5.6. I'm going to take that times 4.15 times 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the negative 3. Again, let's group them. Five point six times four point one five. Well, I know five point six times four has got to be somewhere in the twenties, but I have to be exact. So I'll take my calculator. Let's clear it out, and we'll do five point six times four point one five, and I get twenty three point two four. Okay, there it is. We got a number that's above ten, so that means we are going to have to. Do some changing in a little bit with our decimal point in our exponent. So times 10 to the negative 2 plus negative 3 is the negative fifth power. That means when we, if we change this, we'd be moving our decimal point to the left. All right. Now, since 23 is bigger than 10, that means now we have to change the decimal point. Still has to be between 1 and 10. That means the decimal point has to go right here between the 2 and the 3. So I want to write 2 point. Three, two, four times ten. And then let's see now, what will the new decimal point be? If it's where 23.24, and it says move it left five. So I'm here between this three and two, and I'm going to go and move it to here to the left one. Now, if I'm already moving to the left one to put it here, that means on with negative 5, I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But since I'm moving it left 1 already, I don't have to move it as many. So instead of moving it left 5, now with this number, I only have to move it left. That's our negative sign. 4. Again, I have already moved it left 1 space. That's 1 less to do. So left 4 now instead of left 5. So 2.324 times 10 to the negative 4th. Well, if that's it. Be sure that you grab the assignment for me and get to work on that. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.